King Zhou was the last king of the Shang Dynasty. He was intelligent and very strong. Legend said the king was able to hunt beasts with his hands. During his earlier reign, King Zhou battled and defeated many nearby tribes to expand its territories. He also attached great importance to agriculture. The national power grew stronger gradually. However, in his later years, King Zhou indulged himself into drinking and women. Daji was his favorite concubine. In literature, Daji was often described as a nine-tailed false spirit. While on her way to the capital city of the Shang Dynasty, she was killed by a thousand-year-old false spirit who possessed her body. She then bewitched the king and became his favorite. She caused the king to neglect the state affairs and to rule with tyranny. This ultimately led to the dynasty decline and widespread chaos. In reality, Daji was a daughter from the Su noble family in the Yongshu state. In 1047 BC, King Zhou conquered Yongshu. He was attracted by the beautiful Daji and therefore took her as his concubine. Since then, King Zhou deeply adored Daji and started in the glad state affairs. To please Daji, the king created the most famous entertainment called the Alcohol Pool and Meat Forest. He made a large pool filled with alcohol in the palace. Roasted meat skewer were hung above the pool. A small island was constructed in the middle of the pool. This allowed the king and his concubine to reach down to drink the wine and to reach up to eat the meat. According to the records of the Grand Historian, the king and Daji also created a torture method to punish their opponents. It was called the Bronze Toaster. A large bronze cylinder covered with oil was heated with charcoal, so its sizes were very hot. The prisoner was forced to walk on top of the heating cylinder and shift his feet. The oily surface made it difficult to maintain the balance. If they fell into the charcoal below, they were burned to death. Sometimes they were asked to hug the cylinder and died painfully. Victims included ordinary people, prisoners, and government officials. It was said that King Zhou and Daji were highly excited after watching the torture. To support King Zhou's heavy expenses, he implemented heavy taxes on the people. The people suffered a lot from it and lost their hope for the Shang dynasty. As a result, the king received strong opposition from many nobles and officials. King Zhou's brother and uncle tried to stop him, but they failed and were imprisoned. King Zhou's tyranny incurred more and more anger and resentment of the people. They eventually rose up in revolt under the leadership of Zhou Wu. In the late years of the reign, King Zhou arranged most of his army to attack Dongyi tribe because he coveted the fertile and productive land. However, the war led to an army emptiness in the dynasty. In 1046 BC, Zhou Wu took the opportunity to attack Shang dynasty army. When King Zhou realized the main force of his army was in the southeast and could not be recruited, it was already too late. The Shang army was defeated, which was known as the Battle of Mu Ye. Zhou Wu's army immediately attacked Chao Ge, the capital of the dynasty. It eventually led to the demise of the Shang dynasty. King Zhou climbed to Lu Tai and committed suicide. After the fall of the Shang dynasty, Daji was executed on the orders of Zhou Wu. According to a Han scholar, following Daji's death, her head was hung on a small white flag. Zhou Wu took over the kingdom and founded Western Zhou dynasty. Many people attribute the fall of the Shang dynasty to Daji, but in fact, she did not participate in politics. She became King Zhou's concubine in 1047 BC. While the Shang dynasty ended in the next year, it was not likely that she led to the downfall of the kingdom in just one year. Also, the records about the life of the king and Daji were all written by the following dynasties. So modern historians believe that some information about King Zhou's tyranny may be falsified. In the early years of the Western Zhou dynasty, King Zhou was only accused of drinking. Later, the Western Zhou rulers added a lot of crimes to King Zhou, such as chopping people into meat, cutting pregnant women, etc. The rulers after the Han Dynasty continued to promote King Zhou's negative reputation. He then became the symbol of cruelty, and his incapacity may be exaggerated.